on the on the personal growth side, Billy, and you, you've always been passionate about the personal growth side of our uh, curriculum and, and coaching. Wh- where does somebody start that journey? The first thing they start in is do they believe from the person they're getting the growth from? Like if somebody is listening to you, do they trust what you're saying? Mm-hmm. Do they have some level of belief and I want to see what this is about? And then I frankly think that when you get some information from somebody that you trust in a vision of where you want to go, mm-hmm. I think you should test the information out. You mm-hmm. should go try it, apply it in your life and try it because if not, it's a theory and yep. that doesn't happen in the real world. The tangibility and personal growth is when um, you try it. And I walked my first day, you talked about Misty's first day at the organization. My first day was a conversation with you at the coffee pot, literally at the coffee pot. I will never forget, which is you said, I'll tell you one thing. If you continue to grow personally, you'll have this job for as long as you want it. And you'll grow here within the organization. And it stuck with me. And I tell that story every time we hire a new coach that that is the fundamentals to what we do. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And you've grown from strength to strength, my friend. I've thrown you into many a project over the years. <laughs> I had, I've always had great belief in you, Billy. We're trying to figure this out. I'm going to throw Billy at it. And you're a gamer, so I've always enjoyed it. Misty, same dynamic. We're in the start phase, as, as Dave talked about. Uh, business fundamental, personal growth. Obviously, building upon what the guy said, what, where, what would your take be? Mm-hmm. Generate a customer. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 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 Yeah. Yeah. And, and here's the thing, Dave. I'm the kind of person because this is this is how I did live. So you talk, you mentioned a couple of our training programs. I'm the guy who did read the book take the class. I remember Mark Victor Hansen walked through here and he's the co-author of Chicken Soup for the Soul. And he produced a audio cassette series in the mid uh, 90s called Build Your Speaking and Writing Empire. And he was walking through Buffini and Company with his wife. And his wife turned to him and she goes, Mark, this guy did all the things you taught him to do that you haven't done yet. <laughs> you know, so I was that guy. Now, here's the thing, and I was the guy who was reluctant to coaching. It took a lot longer. It was a lot harder. It took a lot more energy, emotion. It took a bite out of my arse is the way I would describe it. Um, It put tremendous strain on me to do it. And uh, what I learned is that with the coaching, so I'm I'm not the prototype coaching client because I am the guy who likes to kind of figure it out himself. However, I tell you what I don't like. I don't like it taking twice as much, twice as long, and being twice as hard. And with the coaching, I, here's what I found. I enjoy the journey. And uh, I enjoy the journey a lot more. I enjoy the success a lot more. I enjoy the process a lot more. As opposed to it was always something to be endured and got through. And I was always in this mode. Once I get here, and it was almost like saying to myself, once I get here, I'll be happy. Or once I get here, then I'll have arrived. Or once I get here, I'll be successful. Or once I get here, and once I get here, never arrives. (laughs) 